Hi guys, so I am back and I'm about to um, make a little batch of soap here. I'm going to be trying for the very first time that hanger, the hanger swirl. So I hope it comes out right. I already got my oils ready. I got my lye water um, ready. And just so you guys know, I do put silk in every one of my soaps unless I list it as being vegan. Um, but the silk that I use, of course, is cruelty free. It's harvested after the silkworm has emerged from the cocoon. So it is cruelty free. I'm going to be trying out a fragrance blend of mine. So it's very floral and but woodsy at the same time. I like it. So I'm gonna be using five different colors. So hopefully this it doesn't accelerate on me because it is florals in there um, and I'm gonna be adding kale and clay as well to this batch so here we go I'm gonna add my lye water make sure I'm in frame I haven't made a video in so a soaping video in so long that I gotta make sure I'm in frame okay at this point, I want to add my kale and clay because I don't know if that fragrance oil is going to accelerate it. So I want to have this in here at least and then I'll zap it all together. So yeah, so I opened shop yesterday and um, but I do have a domain and it is mybutterfliesboutique.com. The only thing is I had went with this website and after I designed it, well, my daughter actually designed it for me. It was so pretty. And then I had everything in it listed. Guess what? You can't, um, you can't give each individual item shipping. So that sucked because that's important. I can't just make one, one shipping uh, rate for everything that I sell because everything weighs different and everything is packaged different. So I had to call them and cancel that. But because I had already bought the domain, I have to wait 60 days um, before I'm able to transfer it. So. I have another 12 days to go, so hopefully then I'm, it's gonna be my own domain, which will be, uh, instead of having big cartel in there, it's gonna be just uh, mybutterfliesboutique.com, so uh, it happens. All right, lower your volume because I'm about to zap this. <laughs> And right now, I just want it to where it's a very thin trace because I'm working with so many different colors. So I don't want it to, to get too thick. And I think I am there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save some of my colors. I don't want to fragrance this part yet. So I have the pink and I have purple and blue, yellow. I hope I'm in frame mm, somewhat. And I have the green. So I'll be adding. Let me just mix this here real quick. So I'll add some of some fragrance into these right before I pour because I don't want them to get thick. I 
So I hope you guys are all doing well. It feels good to be soaping um, a lot. <laughs> it's so relaxing and I do enjoy it. And here's my green. And my purple. Sorry if I'm out of frame. And now I have my blue. to add some of my fragrance and I'm going to blend this so lower your volume again ready <laughs> this smells so yummy oh my gosh it smells so good I don't want it to get into a thick trace though. So I'm just gonna zap it a little bit more. Because I wanna have time to swirl. If it gets too thick, you won't be able to do that. So it's at a very light trace. And that's what I want. Okay. Got my mold here. And let's see how this goes. Let me add a little bit of fragrance to each one of these guys. stir this yeah I've noticed there's not a lot of gosh I remember a couple years ago when when I first started making YouTube videos there were so many soapers it was like we had a little group and everybody I guess they're all doing their own thing now. But it's nice to hear from, from them. And last two colors. So far, the fragrance oil is behaving well. So here we go. Let's see. I think I want the, no, I think I want the pink first. So let's put some pink in there. And I want some green after that one. Let's do some purple. And some yellow. Blue. Let's see how this turns out. I want some more of my 
base color. Some more here. And let's add a little bit more of the green. And a little more the pink. Oops. We'll see how this turns out, guys. Oh, and I did it again. Now it's starting to get thick. All right. So, let's just a little bit more of this. All right, let me get my hanger. So this is my bootleg hanger. I, I covered it up with um, straws because I don't trust this metal. So, all right, so I've seen them go side to side. And then up and down. So I think I might just leave it like that because I don't want it to get too muddy. We'll see how that turns out. So I'm just going to add a little bit, whatever I have left on top. Okay. Let's see. Now some green. It smells really good. This one is loaded with shea butter. So perfect for winter time now, actually. Let's put some blue. And last but not least, let's pop it out with some yellow. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the top. <laughs> That's me. I don't plan too much ahead. I just go with it. Whatever comes to my mind as I'm going. All right. So...
I'm going to take a skewer. Chopstick, actually. And I'm going to go, uh, let's just go this way. And I can feel it setting up under it already. I don't want to go all the way down because whatever swirl I got, I don't want to lose. You know what? I think I'm going to change my mind. I think I'm going to mound this one. How about that? I think that's the best bet so that my colors can kind of show. It's kind of thin still on top, but I could feel the inside of it. It's hard as I go in. You can kind of see some colors popping through. I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't want it to become a bloody muddy mess so we're gonna leave it like that so hopefully that'll work let me get some glitter and this is cosmetic grade glitter guys um, it doesn't go into the soap so the only if you don't want it, it's not going to stick to your skin either a lot of people oh, you glitter will stick to your skin uh, no it don't as soon as you run it under water the glitter's gone and you're not going to be glittery so that is it guys let's see if I can give you a close up That is it. We'll see how how it looks when we cut into it um, tomorrow. I'll do a cutting video. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.